Welcome back to Kids Stories and More. Have we got a book for you today? But before we get started, please hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button. Get it all out of the way. Come on, you can do it. It's right down there below. We are here with another Arthur book. We love our Mark Brown books, don't we? Arthur, Sir Arthur to the Rescue. You are not going to want to miss that. I'm sorry about the glare. There we go. When Buster gets stage fright, Arthur comes to the rescue just in time. Oh, let's see what happens. Sir Arthur to the Rescue by Mark Brown. Actors needed for Elwood City Children's Theater, the sign read in big letters. I want to be Queen Guinevere, said Muffy. A palace guard sounds good to me, said Buster. Who do you want to try for, Arthur? Who else, he said. King Arthur. At the auditions, Arthur met the director, the legendary soap opera actress, Ivana Starr. You, with the glasses, said Miss Starr. I will hear you read now. Arthur took a deep breath and sat down on the throne. I am the mighty Arthur, ruler of Cantaloupe, or I mean Camelot, he said. That will be all, said Miss Starr. The following day, Miss Starr posted the cast list. I'm the queen, squealed Muffy. Cool, said Binky. I'm a knight. I'm a lady in waiting, said Prunella. King Arthur, who got the part of King Arthur? Was it Arthur? Mm, no. Arthur spotted the role of King Arthur. It read, Buster Baxter. Attention cast, Miss Starr interrupted. Here are your scripts. Arthur, you'll be playing the stable boy, said Miss Starr. And remember, there are no small parts, only small Arthurs. Oh. Did he get the part he wanted? No. But as she said, there's no small parts. The first week of rehearsals was rough. Binky couldn't walk in his armor and Muffy hated her gown. Why can't it be pink? she said. This king's stuff is great, said Buster. He loved pulling the sword out of a large fake stone. Does Arthur look happy with his character? Hmm. Soon Buster started to believe he really was royalty. Make way, he said. The king is coming through. Oh, brother, Prunella said. The next week was worse. Buster insisted on a chair that had his name on it. He even handed out autographs. Just think, said Buster. You knew me before I was famous. I think Buster's getting a little too big for his britches. What's wrong with you, Buster? asked Binky. What do you mean, said Buster? I'm the big star. No way, insisted Binky. I'm bigger than you. You tell him, Binky, said Arthur. You're just jealous, Buster said, because I'm playing King Arthur and you are not. I like you better as Buster, Arthur said softly. Later that day, Buster had a rough time. You must surrender to the great King Buster, uh, 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 Arthur, said Buster. You need to learn your lines, said Miss Starr. No problem, said Buster. Just wait till we open. The big night finally arrived. The theater was packed. Buster peeked out from behind the curtain and gulped. That's a lot of people, he said nervously. Yes, and they are all waiting to see you, said Miss Starr.
When the curtain rose, Buster just stood and stared at the audience. He has stage fright, cried Miss Starr. He's ruining my production. Someone do something. What can they do? Arthur had an idea. Almighty King, he called, you must pull the sword from the stone. But Buster didn't budge. Neither did the sword. So Arthur picked up a tree and sneaked across the stage. Psst, Buster, he whispered. Calm down, you could do it. Soon Buster began to relax a little and the words came to him. Um, I claim the sword Excalibur, he shouted, pulling the sword from the stone. When the show ended, the audience thundered with applause and cheers. At the curtain call, Miss Starr blew kisses to the audience. Buster got a standing ovation. Suddenly, Buster pulled Arthur on stage. The audience cheered. Arthur felt really proud. Take a bow, said Buster. You deserve it. Thanks, whispered Buster. You really saved me. That's what best friends are for, whispered Arthur. So what did you think? Who came to the rescue? Arthur, that's right. What did he do? Well, even though Buster was getting a little bit too what's the word, big for his britches, right? He was ordering everybody around, thought he was so great just because he had a lead role. But, you know, Arthur helped him when he got stage fright. Stage fright is when you get up on stage and everybody's looking at you and you kind of like blank out for a minute there. You're afraid to say anything. You get scared and really nervous. He forgot his lines. And what did Arthur do? He kind of crept up on stage behind that tree and he, you know, tried to get him to relax so he could remember his lines. So he really came through because that's what friends do, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed this and come back next week for another read aloud. If you love read alouds, please share, let everyone know we do them every single Monday as well as some other fun activities, as well as some other fun activities throughout the week. We'll see you soon. This is Mimi. Bye-bye.